Hey everybody, welcome back to Chan's Planning. It's me, Chan, your visual anthropologist here at Cut. I have missed you this week. So today, we're actually going to be talking about Cut's favorite videos. To find out what those favorite videos are, I have scoured through the office and asked everybody to tell me what their favorite video was. And what follows is a list and some of the reasons why these videos, while maybe not performing as spectacularly as some of our other videos, are actually near and dear to our heart. Okay, so this is from Isabel, one of our producers. She likes On Killing. What's it like to take a life? That's when she reached out and she grabbed a hold of the barrel of the gun, and I pulled back to pull the gun out of her hand, and the gun went off, and she was shot. Stylistically, this is my favorite cut video. It's a compelling story, super interesting character, and the shot at 335, oh man. There was just a little dark hole inside of her head. I don't know how to describe it any more than that. Yeah, okay, so we actually sent a crew out to Minnesota, found this person that was willing to tell their story. It's about what it's like to take someone's life as a murderer, a super heavy subject, but one way that we helped process and deal with that in the production of this piece was to focus on the sensory imagery of what it's like to live in this part of Minnesota, in the freezing cold, what this tiny church looks like, this kind of quiet desolation of all of that. We're super proud of it, even though it doesn't have millions and millions of views. Uh, so this one comes from Blake, one of our editors. I have many favorite videos, but my f current favorite one is First Takes, First Kiss. In three, two, one, go! Uh. <laughs> it makes me happy every single time I see it. I am blown away by the people involved and the love they all wanted to be a part of it. I normally hate human intimacy and affection, but there is something really sweet about it. It's incredibly slow motion. You know, we cast a lot of our friends and family in the videos, and so of course those videos are always a little closer to the heart than maybe some of the other ones. Our CEO, Mike, brought in his parents to play sexy charades. Uh, what's Jeannie's favorite sexual position? Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe my son is asking me something like that. And I know he'll always have that memory forever, seared into his mind as it is seared into mine. And I'd be planting myself, see, having dinner. Zach, uh, again, one of our editors, helped cast a video that we made for Truth or Drink, which starred, of course, Tony and Safia. And this is like one of those standout Truth or Drinks in which it got really emotional at the end and everybody on set was crying. Move into the future and you're, you're no longer connected. I just don't... I don't know where she's gonna be when she gets old. Fun fact, we were actually are friends with these folks. Like Tony worked um, on What Do You Gather with us. Lane, what's your favorite video? Parents describe the personal abuse to their kids the first time around. Mm. So you know, my top favorites. Lane's behind the camera, by the way. You can't see him. I think this is one of the earliest videos that appeared on the Cut channel, um, in which we had all these adorable, bright little faces come in and have their childhoods ruined by their parents describing what sex and sexuality is and means. Bodies get mm. really close mm. together. Yes. Yes, and. Do you know what happens when their bodies get close together? <laughs> it's a milestone that happens everywhere, um, but no one had ever actually sat down and captured so many of these uh, encounters. Just to see the variety of ways that uh, adults interact with their own children, and that every single way that these parents choose to describe sex is completely different. No matter what, it's always awkward. Also a great video. Also, that's where we met Maddox. Yay. Would you like to know how babies are made? Made of water. Humans are made of water. Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. What's my favorite video? I don't know. I think I wasn't even around when you guys made it, but probably the 100 Years of Beauty Iran video. That was really good. I had never really taken the YouTube video very seriously as a format. I kind of considered it filler or mindless entertainment throughout the day. But no, actually that in this one less than two minute clip, I actually got a sense of aesthetics and 
history and it asks a question using imagery, that question gets multiplied by 7 million people viewing it at the same time. It's like, well, I guess maybe I could work a cut. I'm Ariel Sky Williams. I'm eight years old. I'm unarmed and I have nothing that will hurt you. It's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. One video that, you know, the minute we filmed it, we knew like we had stumbled upon something much greater than us was black parents explain the police to their kids. On set, it was incredibly emotional for everybody. Every moment of editing that footage was, um, you know, like pregnant with anticipation and anxiety about how we were representing these people. Like it was so hard to cut out a single second from so many of these stories. When a police officer says something to you, don't, don't, you're black. You can't be looking at them saying, oh, I don't know, why don't you tell me? Well, I mean, that right there is giving them, to them, the license to pull you out of your car and physically harm you because it will be done. Don't get upset, don't get sassy. Why did you pull me over? You don't have, I'm no, just, just follow instructions and stay calm. Okay. Do you think just being a police officer and pulling you over, regardless of if you feel you've done something or not, they should get your respect? That's a tricky question. What makes this video so valuable for me is to be able to watch people share it on Facebook and actually have very personal, intimate dialogues with their friends and family members in the comments. People will say, hey, wow, I'm a white parent raising black kids because I've adopted them, and this video has given me some idea for how to navigate this conversation. Or, hey, I've had this conversation so many times with my children, and this is real. Or like, hey, I've never had this conversation with my parents. I actually understand what white privilege can mean for me now. So to see the real impact that video has means it's a total success in my book. I think that's it. Oh, do we need a closing thing? Yeah, do you have a closing thing? No, I'll just bullshit one though. One pressure that we work with here at Cut is that this is a business that needs to financially sustain itself and we all need to get paid. But at the same time, we want to create art and produce things that matter and mean something to us in the world. And sometimes it feels like there's a pressure or a conflict between the two. The task we're charged with is to navigate that distinction, if there is one, if, or if it's real. That's why it's okay when we produce something that maybe doesn't get 30 million views, but still actually matters or means something to us. And that's what I think makes working at a place that's so frantic and so fast-paced so sustainable. Because every now and then, we produce a gem that we can all be really proud of. Comment time! It's comment time. Israel Kazat writes, can you guys do a video where people try to guess what languages people are speaking? Yeah, we could. It's like lineup, right? Like people do have certain judgments that they make hearing your voice automatically. And I would love to see that in foreign language or world language. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Good idea, Israel. And I will play that too. I'll play that. Okay, here's a comment from Benny Hassan. Chan is my main father figure in life. Benny son, I just don't think I'm ready to be a father. Like, I'd be a horrible father to you anyways. But I promise I'll send you a birthday card, $5. Maybe spell your name right, <laughs> once a year. This is from Jack Turnbull. Chan-splaining fear pong Republicans versus Democrats next week, wink, wink. I don't know, I feel like it's pretty... What you see is what you get. But you know, like, I think it is so funny that in, in the spirit of competition, people elect to choose their individuality over their party anyways. That's why you see everybody transgressing their political and moral values on set for our entertainment. Okay, this is from Shanika Crane. Now you have to explain your 100 people hold their breaths video. What the fuck was that? It was quite literally 100 people holding their breaths. And you know you liked it. Thank you so much for watching Chance Planning, everybody. It's been just a pleasure as always. I hope you'll leave a comment for me below and I hope I'll see you in hell. Goodbye. Subscribe to our channel. It's called Cut now. <laughs>